come visit us because no one comes to us. No one ever comes to visit us. Not lately, anyways. Of course, we've been it's hiding. Like you don't care. You don't watch the show. You know this is our last show. The last one. No, it's not. The final episode. Our finest hour. It could be, though. You never know. Our finest hour is ten minutes. <laughs> All right, do your review, man. My review. Oh, okay. Yeah. I read The Human Torch. And it's a little different than all the other ones. It's like a teen angst kind of thing. You know, what if you had powers to ignite yourself on fire? Children, don't try this at home. Yeah, children, <laughs> don't listen to this. He didn't know what the hell he's talking about. So go back to a scene where David's like, at five. <laughs> Flashback, 1980. David was born. He had an five. afro and everything. <laughs> I don't think I, I was bald. I never had an afro though. You were bald when you were five. Well, I was bald for like ever until I think maybe high school when I decided out. What were you? Hair t- might be a good idea. <laughs> were, you, were you a chief? <laughs> well, yeah, in about two yeah two days I was poof fro master. Look at him now. Yes, I had a flat top. All right. Yeah. It was good. Anyways, Human Torch. I just finished reading it just now. Oh look, we're busy. <laughs> Hi, Donald. Welcome to the show. <laughs> he's our yeah, special going guest. Back. Look, he's scared. He's running he now. Um, he's scared. They want him in uh, Minnesota for uh, stealing. What'd you steal again? Probably TV. Admit it on camera. <laughs> oh, you're not going to admit it on camera? So you're saying you did steal something, though? <laughs> when did you go to Minnesota? Years ago. Where'd you get that Three apple juice? Ago. Nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, we got a few numbers. Other things we okay, got to talk well, we about. we got another thing to talk about. Did you want to do your review on that Gus Beezer? <laughs> he sounds stupid when you say it. Say it again. Uh, uh, Gus Beezer. Say it again. Gus Beezer. Like Meanwhile. Anyways, book uh, Gus Beezer. it's like a Marvel. They're trying to... Uh, it's a kitty book. This yeah, one's, okay, this one's aimed like at like eight-year-olds. The Human Torch is aimed at like sixteen-year-olds. It's three books. It's three Behold. different stories. One of them's with him and uh, Spider-Man. Like there's three. Oh. There's Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, and X-Men. Like I was saying, there was, there's three books. There's one where he's teamed up with Spider-Man. There's one teamed up with X-Men. One. This is the one with X-Men. See Wolverine with his weird sideburns. God, look at that, man. He looks the like Kill my brother. Kill had sideburns like these one time. So did my older brother. He still does. Yes, he does. But anyways, uh, the art's good in it. Well, for children, art. I didn't like the art. <laughs> You're not I a thought, kid. I didn't think You're the story was that. I got the mentality of an eight-year-old. Ask people. They'll probably say No, you five. act like the mentality of an eight-year-old. It doesn't mean you have it. It's just you choose to act it. That's true. But anyways, I thought it was pretty funny. good. And he was laughing. So there's three issues. You can come pick them up and try them out for yourself. We got a few issues. Sit here at the table and read it or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely aimed at a younger audience. Behold, comics for kids. Yeah, remember that? Back in the day when you were a kid and comics were aimed at you well they weren't they had lots of oh yeah I could too sex. violence and sex and violence and sex look through my books punk <laughs> you got a problem don't you know we're shooting hey don't steal that <laughs> why is it still in my books why didn't you buy some I did and if you Maybe don't want to buy any we got free um, comic book day coming up May 3rd okay well have something on the screen pop up right yeah, there yeah for May 3rd free comic book day we're going to try to do as much for that as possible that comes that's the comics. day after X Men to go see it at theaters May second. Yeah, it's Friday May second. And Saturday May third is our free comic book day. Stop by to pick up a free book. Now you were picking up this because uh, just there was a few number one books. And I was, you know, people like to collect. So now that's the number strange. One. I got it. This go is ahead. number one. Four eleven. What? What is this? Hello. I want to read something off the back here, from. The 411 essay by Dr. Aaron Gandhi, mm-hmm. co founder of MK Gandhi Institute mm-hmm. for Nonviolence. Whoa. Well, violence back. offers us the quickest control I'll over people that. because if, if you call violence back, exerts fear. Back, to redeem man, humanity, man. Grandfather Mahatma Gandhi concluded the culture of violence must uh, be replaced with a culture of nonviolence. There's a wise guy for you. Okay. <laughs> In other words, positive attitudes, yep. love, understanding, respect, appreciation, compassion must dominate human behavior rather than negative attitudes like selfishness, self-interest, greed, hate, prejudice, and so I'm on. I'm happy you reading all this because I thought you were making all this up. I'm like, dang. No, I mean, I don't even know what this is. It's the number one book. What? Extra? I want one. I got that. Yeah. Yeah, 80. 
I don't even know what this is. Throw another one. Is that one mine? Yes. Yeah, I already got mine. You want two? No. You got one? I have one, yeah. Oh, I just bought it. This is it's interesting. <laughs> Did he describe this okay while well, I was... I just okay. got this thing right here on the back. I don't, I don't know. Well, Gus Beaver says on the back. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's accurate. <laughs> it means it's kind of good. I just wanted to show this because this is that's the last issue. Super, Super goal number goal. eighty. So try to find it. It's the end. It's Final over. issue. It's over. I don't. Know. We might have a few on the shelf. That's it. Got to plug as much stuff up. Yep. If anybody's into aliens, remember that the eighties and early. Actually, the aliens have almost been like what twenty years. I mean, cause every five decades. years or something, there's an aliens movie. Aliens versus Judge Dredd. Remember that. Stallone going to eat some aliens. I am the law or something. He ain't the law, he's yeah. just dread. Rocky. Yeah, so Rocky fights uh, aliens in this one. And it's number one, so if you want to just collect it because it's the number one, you got to yeah. right. Sometimes number ones go up in value. Sometimes mm. number ones mm. are just, you know, just replaced, wiped off the face of the earth. Watch, watch, watch. How the Yoda hand flowing, flipping around just everywhere. Or something. That would be weird. That'd be scary. Yes, almost like the electricity. Have him like having something really retarded going on. Right? <laughs> like a lizard dancing around. <laughs> With that dancing, it dances. That dancing baby pop up here. He's, we probably could use that because it's not copyrighted. I don't think. It's there just, might be still. Anyways, we want to do the art space lima thing we were going to do. You have to. You. Maybe we should have asked if we can do this first. No. No. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're, well, maybe we could do something there. But there's, we went to Berdella's, like, uh, I think last week or something. We went there to ask her if we could uh, shoot a show. She said no. Well, she didn't exactly say no. She said she wants to see a tape first. So, so we kidnapped him from the store. <laughs> no, he doesn't work there. He hangs out there every once in a while. You like Berdella's, don't you? Yeah. No, he's a man of many words. Yeah, he's just uh, overwhelmed. Oh my god, it's such a great place. But so we went there, and she has these like paintings hanging up on the wall and stuff. What are you doing? All right, fine. Anyway, there's paintings on the wall. There's paintings on the wall. There's paintings on the wall. There's Silver Surfer on the screen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Did I say surfer? Yeah. Oh, my bad, people. I didn't mean that. Speaking of Berdellas, uh, since Gadzooks is no longer carrying clothes for men, she is going to be uh, open having a, <laughs> having a, a whole new lineup for, uh, for a guys' clothing coming up soon. So. Just keep talking. Who could talk with that? What's on the other side of that? I'm my issue. I want to see the other side. <laughs> no, because this is a PG show. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, you're going to talk, whatever. Yeah, so. <laughs> she's going to have clothes. She's got a lot. Yeah. I should <laughs> sell that. Some of her models kind of like that. Send this to the WWE. Girl, <laughs> take that. <laughs> Uh, we went there. She's really cool. We gave her a tape of the show. But she told us about this art exhibit at Art Space Lima at 6566 Town Square in Lima, Ohio. Wow, there's how's that. Sponsored by Bedalas Emporium at 205 West High Street, the fourth floor in Lima, Ohio. Up and up, see my movie! We got a flyer. We, I'll ask if we can have this up, but... Yeah, the, it opens this Sunday, so when you guys see this, it'll already be open. You guys can go check it out. We plan on doing the same. What are you doing? Pino, what are you doing? Pino! <laughs> Pino! <laughs> so, if you, you shrink Ben Affleck, that's what he sounds like? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's your new best friend. <laughs> Call me Donnie! Oh, you're like new kids on the block. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, oh, yeah, the... Jeez, you know, maybe coming out distracted. The art ex uh, exhibit's going to be from the April 13th till May 25th, so you guys got a lot of time to go check it out. That's not good. What? 
<laughs> I don't know, that's my worst Taz impression I can ever do. Ah, it's pretty bad. Sorry. Oh, yeah, also, um, so we got that covered. We got peanut throwing stuff at me. <laughs> we got a, we got a Eric Clicks tournament coming up for the new, uh, what, the explosion set that just came out. Some of the figures look pretty cool. We got posters of them up in the store. But the explosion boost, you got to buy two or three boosters to play. It's, uh, Saturday the 19th. <coughs> Uh, what does it say? Starts at 4? 5? Starts at 5. I'll be here. Definitely. I got the day off. Sort of. To plug where? It's <laughs> so stupid. The plug on this? Hey, don't throw that at me. What? Don't. What? You got. Throw it away, Peanut. What? Just throw it away. Throw it away. Alright. <laughs> what? Just wait till the camera's off, Peanut. What? I'm gonna take you outside. Rough you up. I don't know. I didn't read it. I'm neutral. I can't be attacked. Yet. <laughs> wait, wait. Ooh, be careful. Here, you get out this way. You go that way. I'm. Where am I going? That He's way. kicking me off the yeah, show. Yeah, you off. I can't show. believe this. Yeah, you too. Get out of my store. Gotta get off his show. I had the screen just start swirling around now. Dude, hey, hey Pina! He's, he's so you stupid! Sound stu <laughs> you sound stupid! <laughs> Anyways, uh, alright. Did you plug the art? Oh, yeah, I sure did. Do you think they paid attention? Probably not. Did you pay attention to Ben Affleck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ben Affleck. Yeah, art Space Lima. Artist is named Nettie. You can see some of her work up there at uh, Butter or Berdellas. Butterfly Lima? Is that where you No, I was going to say. Berdala and <laughs> Bard It's like it's B I R D E L L A. Bird. Ella. That's her name, too. She got cool parents or what? We have weird parents named us David and Robert. Oh my god, you said my name on television. Oh my god! <laughs> my name's not before. Robert. <laughs> I've called you Peanut before. Yeah. How'd you do that, though? One day? What? When you hit me. <laughs> I said it. No, I didn't. You're just sweet. <laughs> Jeez, it doesn't matter what you hit him, it always sounds the same. <laughs> Knock on wood. Uh, Yay! Alright, um. We did a lot. Next is, uh. What? Red Armed from the Moon? Oh, X Men comes out May 2nd. And for the comic Day is May 3rd. Yeah, May 3rd. Yep. Stay come, tuned. You come here, or we're going to try to, I don't know, give them out at other places too, but especially come here on May 3rd, because you can get plenty for, like, yourself and a kid. And anyways, are we doing all right time-wise? I mean, we've got some stuff in there, good stuff. I don't think there's anything left uh, to do. Is there tomorrow. anything my conscience would like to say coming up? No. Do we have anything coming up soon? Well, hopefully we can get back to Berdellas and, you know. Don't, what? Green yeah. Well, yeah. Well done. Second. Okay. Hopefully, you get shooting at Burdell. That's what you're looking for. I could I need it. And then hopefully next week we'll be shooting. We'll have the show from uh, Green Gate. Oh, uh, Marvel also has um, uh, check out uh, Marvel.com slash Epic. Uh, they're even having a where uh, uh, they're wanting writers and and artists to submit their own original idea. And hey, they're paying money for it. So, yeah, you know, it's like even now, so you, it's even more, I don't know about easier, but it's, you can be a lot closer to having, you know, comic books published and, and whatnot, your material from Marvel Comics. So, it's in development now this year, so it's not like it's really bare bones right now. Oh, crap. <laughs> but, um, so check that out, you know, artists and, and writers and sure, letterers yeah. and trade to it? anchors. Anchors. <laughs> hey, don't say that word. Donald's a tracer. Ooh, burnt on television. I'm not a tracer. I'm an inker. He's an inker a lot. That's it. Right? That's it. What? All right, we're we're done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done. And we're back. Back. Look, we're back. Oh know? boy, you must be really bored if you're watching this one. <laughs> oh wow, look at that, we're back. All right, and we're I done. think that's like 20 yeah. minutes. Right. We're yeah. done right there. All right.